Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be looking at the top five paid applications or tweaks for the week. Today is November the 8th. The first one I'm going to share with you is called Hide Me 8 and it's two bucks. And this is a very advanced way to add any kind of animation or any kind of uh, just I'll show you what it's all about right here. It says it's the return of the powerful tool that you all have known to come and love. And you can customize things in the control center. You can hide different things like airdrop, uh, quick launch. You can just do things with your lock screen. You can hide camera grabber, CC grabber. You can customize date and time. There's just so much you can do with this one tweak that it's just not possible for me to go into depth with this. So what I'm going to do is just show you a couple things. If you go into settings here and back out to hide me eight right here. Now there is a light version if you want to try it out first and come in here and make sure it's enabled and go to configuration. Now if you're wondering why my screen is black, it's cause I have night mode Eight enabled I'm going to be sharing it just in a moment but here's where you customize each category your control center uh, lock screen notification center springboard status bar stock apps camera messages right on down the line you can just do so much with this it does require a respring when you change anything in here though so keep that in mind so if we want to come in here and turn the camera grabber off or turn labels off that turn the date on percentages or anything like that we do it all inside of this little tweak guys it's pretty awesome now me I say go for the 99 cent version or the two dollar version because you're gonna really enjoy it but you can try the the light version it has an extremely lot of controls itself now the next one we're looking at is night mode 8 and this is 99 cents and if we go into our settings here, you'll see that we have many different things we can customize in here too. So if we go to night mode 8, and you see I have it enabled, you have what's called global settings. That means it's iOS wide. And you can customize different things in here. You can uh, turn up and down the brightness, or your uh, you can change the appearance of the settings of your text, uh, highlight colors, tint colors. You can even have custom tint colors for different things. If you wanted to come in here and configure your own custom tint, that will be left up to you. You can replace your splash screens. You can use a custom splash screen. You can select a splash screen by just going in here and it'll pull up your photos. Very easy to do. That's called Night Mode 8. Now, I'm going to turn that one off because we have another one on here. And this is 99 cents. It's called Eclipse 2. And these two could probably conflict, but I'm not going to respring. But here we go on this one here. You see you can disable Eclipse 2 in the springboard if you don't want it to be dark on the screen on the springboard you can simply turn it on that's that cut that feature on for that and you can quit all apps restart the springboard you can add different colorized uh tints here you got themes you got night graphite silver crimson rose uh you can change the color of your status bar right here baby blue I've used that a whole lot and had several people want to know how I was doing that. So if we change up a couple things here, uh, the nav bar color is night. Uh, I changed this, the status bar thing. So let's go ahead and restart the springboard and see if it picks up that uh, springboard or the custom color I chose for the status bar because I had a whole lot of people wanting to know how I was getting that blue status bar way back when I was using it way back in iOS 7. So now we're going to unlock and you see we have that very blue status bar and that's how I was getting that guys. And that's 99 cents 
Eclipse 2. The next one is called CC Quick Pro for iOS 8. This one's a little more expensive. It's $299. And what it does, it allows you to customize your control center down here. You see, I only have just a few things turned on. And I did that by going into my CC Quick. Now, here's part of that Eclipse that we did a while ago. I changed the custom color to rose, if you remember, for settings. That's the reason we've got this all jacked up now. But I'll turn it off here just in a second. So we we'll go to Eclipse. I'm going to I'm going to turn this off, and the next respring will get this taken care of. But now, if we go in here to CC Quick, and right here we have a few things we can do. You can change animations and gestures in here if you want to, but I didn't fool around with that. And here's some. In the settings section, you can disable toggles here. Go to toggle settings. You can shift those around to appear in whatever order you want them to appear in. And right here, CC Quick Pro settings. Uh, same thing about that. You can shuffle those around. Here's your multitask settings and your default page for your multitask or you want CC Quick Pro, however you want to use it. It, it will tell you step by step. It says multitask settings and quick set and quick CC Quick Pro settings. You can customize the pro buttons. You'll see blank pages when you select multitask and there's no app. So keep that in mind. And if you just hit restore defaults and hit yes, we'll get that respring we was wanting and get rid of that rose color so we won't have such a hard time reading what we're trying to do inside CC Quick Pro. But Overall, guys, it's a really cool tweak. Like I said, it's a little more expensive. It's $299, and it's called CC Quick Pro. Another awesome tweak, you've probably been noticed down here on my lock screen, and it, it says, if found, in the bottom left corner down here. If you tap that, you see it says, I need to configure this in settings. So if I go into settings and pull up, if found, I think this is just a great little tweak. Uh, it takes a little more in depth than the uh, ice one that they added in iOS 8. Here's your configuration right here. You can use the detailed alert. Simple alert settings right here. You can just put your name, contact information, a phone number, anything like that. Um, just who to call and how they can get in contact with you if they find that and if you want to offer them a reward some of that sometimes that entices them to uh, be more willing to try to help you out you know maybe 50 or 100 bucks because you couldn't replace your phone for that so keep that in mind this is called if found and it's only 99 cents and i say grab it because it's a very cool tweak that's five awesome paid tweaks guys check them out let me know what you think in the comments and if you enjoy these kind of videos please share that as well so i can keep going with them and don't forget if you're not a subscriber please hit that big subscribe button share the video with your social media friends it really helps us out and keep coming back